strangers. It's Brandy at the Adopt a Pet Show. And I have so many animals, all new. You know, we haven't been on for, I don't know, how many weeks? What, a month, three weeks? Um, so we have all new dogs out. Well, we have a couple of old timers, which we have to squeeze them in because I'm sorry, they're my old timers. But we have this little old timer, but she's young in heart. She is one of uh, the best foster dogs here. And I'm saying foster dog because what she does is when we have smaller dogs, she fosters them until they get adopted. She's been here for a little bit and she's had three roommates so far. Um, her name is Rose. She's 11 years old. She's an amazing little girl. I mean, she's just a little chocolate old lab that she gets along with dogs with no problem. Never had any issues with dogs. Very quiet and in the kennel. Why uh, her partners are going off and about, let me tell you what she's doing. She's just sitting there going, okay, pick me. <laughs> now we're going to be having starting all our different events and fundraisers um, including we're going to have duck derby this year uh, that is going to be in september uh, as the dates once i get my tickets that's when i'm going to start advertising um, also we have top hat and tails which that will be in october so we have and of course pet smart every other week we're no longer doing outside uh, adoption events at this time because hello summer's here which we'll be talking about this uh the safety tips on summer in a little bit so with that come on down to see this beautiful sit can you sit? Sit. She goes, no, you sit. <laughs> Come on down, see Rose today. Don't forget we're open Monday through Saturday from the kennel hours are 10 to four. And also the office hours are from 8.30 to 4.30. So come on down and adopt this sweet little girl. No appointments necessary today. <laughs> And this is Miss Lady Lightning. Lady Lightning is about five years old. She goes, why are you saying my name? She's really, she is one of our newest ones here at the Western Arizona Humane Society. Um, so she's getting used to the, all the surroundings. She's a little scared still. Um, her tail was way tucked in where it looked like she had a bobtail. But she's starting to relax more, um, realizing that this is okay. Uh, she, like I said, she's five years old. I haven't got to play with her and stuff, so I can't really tell you the background of her. Um, she's very quiet. She does really good with uh, Monty, our volunteer. Um, he is, between him and Andy, they take these special ones that can be very, very scared, which we will tell you about one that will be up um, pretty soon. But she is just a sweetheart. She's a big girl walks wonderful on a leash i can tell you that um and she just wants to love look at she just leaning right into me so i think you know it's like i said it's the surroundings around you don't i wish we knew what the dogs were saying because they could be saying something pretty nasty and you just don't know you know <laughs> So make sure you come on down. Uh, we have I, I, we have a full house right now. We have quite a few dogs. Um, and every week we usually get new dogs in. So always check in on our website. We, like I said, we are open to the public. You know, don't need appointments at all. Um, and if you want to know where we're at, we're on the south end of town, not the north end the south end of town at 2610 Sweetwater. We have, for some reason, Google sending people over to Empire still, and there's nothing there, like flat lie, it's flat. So um, the Humane Society is now on the very south end of town, and like I said, come on in, you don't need an appointment. We'll sh direct you on where the dogs or the beautiful dogs are the very sweet cats. So come and get some lickings for him from this little girl. Lady Lightning. Yeah. And this is Habanero, cause he is a smoking hot little Chi Chi, huh? Yes, you are. You're my good boy. Uh, Habanero is only two years old and he is one of our special, special boys here. Um, we have two volunteers here that works with our special needs 
uh, dogs, habanero being one of them. And we call them special needs only because it doesn't mean they have a handicap, but they sometimes can be uh, timid, scared of people. We don't know their past and what happened. And let me tell you, we're giants and us being giants, we can do a lot of damage to these little ones. So we have quite a few of them. Uh, Barbara's one, which she'll be on later. And Habanero's another one. Um, we had, uh, I had Andy come in here because Habanero is very attached to her. And he, he does, he uh, feels more comfortable with her. We don't like to stress him out. But the good news is, is we're getting volunteers back. Um, we are, I'm not gonna do an orientation because still we get like 40 people in and three, of, three people come back. So I actually wanna meet you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I work Tuesday through Friday, I'm here. So I want you to come on down if you're very interested in volunteering with dogs, volunteer, socializing and walking dogs or socializing, you're not gonna be walking cats, but we need volunteers for cats. Also, I need volunteers for special events because there's some people that can't walk in here and it's very hard for them to be in a shelter. So won't you set up a one-on-one -on -one with me? Call me or come on down, fill out an application and ask to speak to me because these little guys and also Monty and Andy can really use the help, you know, because it gets hot out there. So we have to get these animals in and out. And, you know, I'm sure sometimes they like to have a vacation too. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> get out of town because it's hot. Uh, so come on down and you want to see a little spicy habanero or you can come on down if you're interested in helping these little guys. Give me a call or come on down and fill out an application today. Give me a call at 928-855-5083. <laughs> and this is my sweet girl, Athena. Athena's been here for a while. Um, nothing that she did. When she came in, we had her transferred from Needles uh, Shelter and she was very pregnant, like very pregnant. And she is, we just adopted her puppies out last week, uh, last weekend, but she was an amazing mom. Um, I could not even handle how these mommies stay so sweet. You know, at the end they get a little snappy with their babies, but having teeth just pulling on you, um, I would be a little snappy too. <laughs> I mean, we have like one or two kids that we deal with. They have nine. So it, it's quite different. She was an amazing mom, took care of her babies. Um, every day we gave her these treats, so she's really addic addicted to these Whoa. things. Woof. Sit, can you sit and I'll split it for you. That's, she's very gentle. I, I think she's good with kids. I can't imagine um, her not being good with kids because she is like a retriever lab mix. Just an amazing girl. Um, now that people are walking through the kennels, I want to make sure everybody ha realize that we, you have to make sure that you realize when you walk, don't judge the animal as how they react to you at the kennel. They're gonna bark at you and they're gonna look like they're aggressive. They're not used to people walking through the kennels. So this is something new for them. So they're just protecting their area. What, it's like them protecting your backyard, which that's what one job that these dogs have. Yes, it is. Yes. Mwah. So yes, she does give kisses. Uh, we also wanna know, let you know Summer is here. Uh, we, I get calls all the time on dogs that are in the backyard or people walking the dogs uh, during the afternoon. It should not be allowed whatsoever on walking dogs in the afternoon. Sidewalk, asphalt, uh, we post uh, warnings all the time on Facebook, but it is so hot. Even though it's like 85 degrees um, outside, it can be over 100 degrees on that asphalt or cement. So you need to be really, really careful. Booties are not always going to protect your dog's paws. Um, pools, easy. Go to PetSmart. Yeah, I mean, PetSmart, this is the perfect size pool. A lot of people can't lift up pools. These are a smaller pool for these dogs for your backyard. So if you have a dog that it has problems because it's hot outside, you throw this pool down. Fill it up with water and that will keep their paws nice and cool. 
Last thing is, I'll show you when we bring the next dog in. <laughs> so come on down and see Athena. <laughs>
but they are the best family dogs. So let me tell you, he is a really good boy. He loves his love. That tail does not stop wagging. So make sure you come down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue. It's on the very south end of town, um, right across from the Terribles uh, at Coma. So come on down, see our little Tasmanian devil. And this is Barbara. She's another of our special needs. Uh, she's four years old. And she is another one that we got transferred here, scared to death. I mean, just terrified. She came in with her two puppies that were like gigantic. I mean, they were gigantic. Um, but we have had volunteers uh, been working with her, socializing, showing her, uh, showing people that she is okay, we're, we won't hurt her. But a lot of these dogs are raised out in the farm. Um, they don't get human contact all the time. So it's really hard. Um, and then guess what? We get them afterwards. They're tired of them. They don't want to deal with them. And boom, we got them. So, you know, the dogs like Barbara is going to need a family um, that really has patience. I don't recommend kids. I think it would be way too much, but I can't really answer that because I have not seen her around kids. So she might, she might come out of her, you know, shell when she sees kids. We don't know. We haven't had anybody come and take her out just yet. Um, she's easing up on her leash now. She was stressing out because she has not been on TV. But this is why we're looking for volunteers. We have so many, and we have quite a few animals that need special loving one on one. If you just want to come and volunteer and work with one dog, and you know, so that dog sees the same face every day, that is beautiful um, because that helps them out so much. So if you're interested, don't forget if you're interested in volunteering, you make sure you give me a call at 928-855-5083, or you can come on down to 2610 at ah, Sweetwater Avenue on the very south end of town. <laughs> and don't forget, I'm here Tuesday through Friday if it's easier to get a hold of me through on those days, if you really want to talk to me and just come in. So I don't want to stress her out anymore. So we're going to go ahead and have our sweet little girl, Barbara, go back to her kennel because she's just nervous. And this is Nebula. And for anybody that doesn't know what Nebula's uh, off of, uh, she's off of Guardian of you know, the Galaxy. So, of course, if you know me, you know I love Guardian of the Galaxy. So, so, am I boring you? She's two years old. She prefers not to have any kids. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. You don't know what trauma, what happened to her. Uh, I can't answer what happened to her. I, I have a dog that does not like kids at all, so I can't have him around kids. Um, so there's something that just, she just doesn't like kids. But she loves people, doesn't have one darn thing wrong with people. We have a, uh, our volunteers that walk her every single day. She does an amazing job. She's a really good girl. Um, they, as even said, she's very clean in her kennel. She'll hold until she has to go outside. So she's an amazing girl, but she, she needs to be in a home with just adults. Um, like I said, we don't know what happened. And boy, she doesn't shut. Do you see this? No hair coming off. That's very weird. Yeah. So make sure you come on down and adopt Nebula today. She is a very sweet girl. If, and we do ask, if you have another dog at home, we ask that you bring the dog in for a meet and greet. We actually have people that have been um, not being quite honest on their uh, application. And guess what? A couple weeks later, we get the dog back because they have another dog at home and said their dog's good with all dogs. Guess what? We don't always have the background for the dogs that we have here. So come on down and see Nebula and adopt her today. And this is our Magnolia. Magnolia is one of our dogs that have been here for a while. Um, she is, she does not like other animals. So she does have to be the only animal. That's why she's here. Um, I mean, and it is definitely, she has to be the only animal. 
some of these dogs, especially when they have Catahoula and Healer, um, they like to be the dominant one, especially as she is female here, her roar. So she is a dominant doggy. Uh, she, we got her spayed uh, when she was a year old. So she was kind of pretty much set in her ways. She, really sweet girl. You can pet her, love her. Um, she is not aggressive whatsoever. She loves her treats. And if you tell her to sit, she won't sit. Sit. See, she does a really good job of not sitting, but she takes so softly. <laughs> Kiss. Can you give just the things? <laughs> so we have these uh, beautiful dogs and some of them, yeah, they're not good with other dogs, but if you're the only one dog home, guess what? She would be the perfect dog. She loves people. So come on down and you, she's a perfect dog, especially um, if you're a bachelor or single person, if you want a new best friend and a new girlfriend, here you go. <laughs> don't need to buy no diamond rings or anything like that <laughs> so come on down and adopt magnolia today she way go huh yes he is yeah she goes give me another treat so this is marvin marvin's only a year old he's our pointer mix of some kind uh he's a really really good boy but he is a little boy. He needs a lot of training. Um, we have been getting a lot of animals in with allergies, uh, with, um, we actually had one that just came in and it was, ran through someone's doggy door. It was a cat that ran through someone's doggy door and a coyote skinned his tail. We had to amputate the tail. Um, we have a mom and pups that also, same thing, allergies, really bad, um, and we're treating them. So we're asking anybody that would like to donate and ask what, I mean, we always have people, what do you need? We need do donations so we can continue treating these animals um, to get them to feel better so we they can be able to just go right home. Yes. You know, I make a promise for healthy adopt adoptable animals and we have healthy adoptable animals. So if you'd like to donate to um, a very good cause, uh, please go to our website at www. West dot Western Arizona humane dot org all spelled out. You can easily just push that donate and donate right online. Um, and like we always can use donations because we are getting more and more animals with special needs every single day. We just actually had another one with an amputation on a leg. So a doggy with an amputation on the leg. So there's so many animals that we've been getting in within the last month. So yes, we do have medical staff on board, but we also have to pay for all the treatments. So we have to pay for the medical and uh, any medicine that has to be given to these animals or blood work or any kind of testing that has to be done with the animals, we have to pay for it. So please give us a call at 928-855-5083 if you would like to donate over the phone or just go to our website and you can easily donate on our website. Don't forget Marvin is up for adoption and you must have toys to adopt. <laughs> my silly boy, you are just my silly. And this is May, and May wants to, she is just a love and a half. She has the sweetest eyes. It's a chomp, 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 chomp. Um, she is sweet, sweet girl. I, I think May is one that has to be the only animal, but you know what? She deserves to be the only baby. Yes, she does. Yes, she does, huh? Uh, she, May is a very sweet girl. She walks very good on the leash. Uh, we have volunteers that take her and been working with her twice a day, actually. Uh, she prefers, she would be great with traveling because I had her in my car when I had a transporter to an event and she just sat pretty. So if you have a dog you want to travel with, she would be perfect. So those that go state to state, put her in your RV and there you go. So make sure you come on down and adopt May today. She's ready to go and waiting for her new forever home. Good girl. And this is Sweet Belle, and this is Belle's buddy. 
Uh, he is one of our kennel techs here at the Humane Society. Uh, his name is Jeff. I almost forgot what is his name, so I just thought I'd keep talking until his name came out of my Just kidding. So, <laughs> come here, come over here. So, Belle came into us from another shelter and she was very pregnant. Um, she had, God, how many puppies did she have? She had a lot. Eight or something about? Yeah. Ten, eight. Maybe. Yeah, she had a lot of babies. Uh, when she, after she had her babies, we couldn't touch her. She was a very good mommy. She was very protective. So you couldn't get into her kennel. Uh, he was the only one that can get into her kennel. We had to trick her to go on the other side and then shut the guillotine because she would hide her babies under the blankets. <laughs> so there was like a bunch of Tootsie Rolls that we had to take out of there. Um, yeah, it was, you couldn't count how many puppies she had at first because they were all black. Mm -hmm. So it was just everything, you couldn't see anything. She is a complete different doggy now. She's not with her babies anymore. Um, and she is doing so much better. She was just being a good mommy and protect, and that's what their job is. Um, that's what they do, they protect their babies. A lot of people, you wanna have at least one litter with your dogs, well guess what? Then when they have one litter, we've had, I think the biggest litter we had was 13 dogs. Um, they only have eight nipples for Pete's sakes. Seriously, it's not very a good thing. And you men that want to have litters, let me tell you, you never breastfed before. Neither have I, thank God, but I've heard stories. So it's not a nice thing for these guys. Uh, it has to hurt, especially at the end of the stage when the puppies are getting older, um, the teeth are in. So it really tears, you can see her nipples, how tore up they are. But she's getting better, your figure's coming back. So uh, make sure you come on down and see Belle. She's up for adoption. I do want to give you a reminder. On May 22nd, we have PetSmart, and we have these wonderful techs that transport all kinds of doggies to PetSmart for us because we can't have the trucks sitting there out in the hot sun. Um, so it is going to be on May 22nd, and it is from 10 to 1 and we'll be inside the store because it's, it's way too hot to be able to take these animals on off uh, outdoor events so come on down make sure you realize that we are open to the public monday through saturday from 10 to 4 is the adoption hours so with that we are off to see the kitties the wonderful kitties of waz and we will see you in a couple weeks Bye. Bye.